Here we again from Plant Review, today 15th of April. Uh, I'm in my allotment and this is the, well, the fourth video today. Um, I have a few tulips in flower. Uh, some of them are blooming now, some of them started blooming a few days ago and uh, well, change the color. We'll show you in a few seconds. Well, I will start with the, probably the oldest red tulip I have at the moment. Uh, that's the Tulipa princeps. This is a plant that is about um, 30 centimeters, yeah, 20 to 30 centimeters tall. I have yeah, a few different eight of this plant. Again, I planted the bulbs in a shallow pot, so possibly in a the garden they are a bit taller. However, the, as you can see, the flowers are incredibly big. They are about um, 12 centimeters, 12 to 13 centimeters wide, uh, very, very scarlet red, very vivid, uh, with a black center and a narrow yellow border uh, surrounding the base of the, of the flower. Um, this is definitely a plant you can put in the uh, front part of the border is not very tall and uh, is absolutely very bold, very very bright. Uh, the leaves are quite wide, so again, uh, it's okay to plant around uh, daffodils. As you can see in the pots, I had a few daffodils around, however, not with a very delicate plant that might be overridden by these uh, tulips. Here I have some Estrella Rainwald, they are not in full bloom at the moment, they are still like greenish even if as you can see some red is coming up. This is a parotulip, you can recognize it by the frilly uh, petals and tepals. Uh, it's probably my favorite parotulip, I will um, take another video obviously when uh, they will be in full bloom. Here we have another uh, tulip. It's uh, is about a little bit taller than the princeps. That's about 25-30 centimeters tall, uh, and uh, this uh, is. Uh, let me check. I hope I didn't uh, lose the tag. No. Okay. So yeah, this is the triumph tulip keys Nellis. As you can see, that's a flower uh, that is uh, um, mostly red with uh, yellow, with the yellow uh, margins of the petals and the sepals, and inside is also is also uh, mostly uh, red in the middle part with the yellow in the top, and again at the base of the flower. I hope you can see in the video. Uh, they don't uh, really smell much, um, so it's not really a tulip for fragrance, but I would say it's a pretty nice color, even if it's not very tall. Here we have some uh, tulips godoshing. Uh, these ones, uh, I realized, uh, they actually are mostly yellow when they are young flowers, as you can see, with just a few uh, red stripes, however the red becomes more intense, the red flush flushes both inside the flower and uh, on the external part of the flower. This is uh, definitely a tall tulip, it's about 40-45 uh, cm tall and very very uh, bright, I like a lot of the combination of the yellow and, uh, and the red of this, uh, in this tulip. Here we have another tulip, that's the American Dream, uh, possibly you watched one of my previous videos. The first uh, flower was very yellow and uh, I could barely see the resemblance to the uh, image of the tulip, however now you can see that actually the flower really resembles very much indeed the picture. The yellow is kept only in the central part of the of the tulip as you can see yeah the yellow is mainly in the central part uh, probably here is a better view yeah you can see 
the yellow center part while most of the of the rest of the flower is orange red with a black center and a quite wide yellow margin uh, between the black center and uh, the orange red of uh, the rest of the tepals and sepals. Here we have a much smaller tulip, it's about 20-25 cm Barcelona. Uh, tulip is bright purple, uh, very very bold color, uh, even if I usually prefer the red, uh, prefer the red and the oranges. However, uh, this is definitely a tulip that even if it's not tall, you can easily cultivate in the garden and it will not pass unnoticed anyway. Uh, again, these are not uh, very fragrant tulip, they're just like a very subtle floral fragrance. Um, here we have the tulip on the shoulder. That's, uh, Quite a pretty strong orange uh, with the yellow base and black hunters. Uh, this is just uh, this is just the first to open up. Some more are coming. I was expecting a much taller plant. This is about 30 centimeters tall. Again, might, and that's pretty strange because also I cultivate in a pot that is quite tall. Um, again. The tulip is very mildly fragrant, uh, so yeah, all tulips so far they have smell about the same though uh, yeah, the tulips I presented today uh, is a very nice plant for having in a pot or in a garden, like uh, the orange of this plant very much. Um, the tulips, well the flowers are not incredibly big, however uh, the color is definitely nice. And here? We have the tulip Winnipeg. The fragrance here is very, very subtle, almost inexistent. The other ones have a slightly stronger fragrance. Uh, this is a plant that is about 30 centimeters tall. Uh, it's a bit different in the shape, the flower. The other flowers are uh, mostly um, cup shaped, except the princeps. Indeed, this one resembles a bit the princeps in shape, even if uh, the the petals and sepals are more pointed, almost star shaped. The color is very peculiar, it is uh, yellow with uh, bright red flushes on the, both petals and sepals. And the display is uh, actually very nice, there's more than one flower per bulb, so from the top you can see, you can barely see the foliage, the grayish green foliage. Uh, the flowers are very very evident and very bold so again that's definitely a tulip I can recommend in the four border if you like strong colors uh, obviously is your preference about the color I like more the red of the princeps however this is also very nice and here we have the tulip the flaming flag that's a tulip that I would recommend only if you like pastel colors again I showed you, I think, uh, the last time I was presenting a different tulip in the garden. Now all of them have bloomed. Uh, you can clearly see it's a white flush with uh, like purple strikes and stripes. Um, the tulip itself is not very tall, about 30 35 centimeters tall, and it has uh, well the color inside. Uh, is uh, a little bit more intense than on the outside of uh, the flower. The stripes are much darker inside. The tulip is uh, very lightly fragrant. Uh, this is a tulip just I would recommend only if you like pastel colors. It's not, I think, in my opinion, the color really doesn't much stand out uh, in comparison to the other tulips. I presented today, so it's I would say it would be nice in flowers arrangement. Uh, it's a pretty unusual color, but uh, definitely in the garden, if you like bold colors, I would probably recommend among here the top three of my favorite would be the American Dream, the Passionale, and the Princeps first.
the princeps is definitely my favorite i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time bye